Hi all. We're going to load a program called WSFTP. It's a FTP program. Uh, FTP stands for File Transfer Protocol. So I'll show you what it is here first and then it'll make more sense to you. So it's real easy to install. Just click on it. Hit it. It asks if you're the administrator. Say yes. And then uh, it runs the installer. So uh, in, uh, install it. Click continue. Uh, just say you're a student. Click pick. Uh, click next. At home for personal use. Click next. Accept the agreement, and now it's asking you path where you want to put it. That's just a folder on your C, on your C drive. You know it's fine. You you don't have to change that. Cl click OK. Uh, where where you want your local files to go that's okay that's fine uh, that's just a name for the uh, program manager group for this software click OK and it's done it's done installing click OK here okay so here's the application it, installed <clears throat> and then to run it just click on this thing here that's the actual that's a shortcut to the application you can take that and tr drag it to your desktop so this was the actual installer here we don't need that anymore so to run it, we just click on this to uh, start it up. And now it's asking us where do you want to go. Uh, there's all types of built-in places that you that you can go. See, there's all these companies here. Lots of these companies have uh, public FTP sites that you can go and check out. So let's see if Microsoft still has one. This is an older application, so I doubt if they still have a public FTP site, but we'll see. See, we're watching this here. It, it, it'll tell us when it's connected. Saying Windows Firewall has has blocked some of the features of this app. You want to allow it? Sure. Just click allow access here. It doesn't look like this is doing anything here. It's saying it was successful, but it's not showing us anything on this side. So we'll we'll go ahead and and cl close it here. So it seems to be stuck here. So just go ahead close it so 
we'll start it up again. Here's what I normally do with it. So I I upload files to my server, so I you know, uh, so I don't have to type this stuff in every time. Go go new, and then enter in your information. So the the top one is just a general name. You can type in any, anything you want here. So you know, I'm going to my server. I iJAF. What's my website address? What's the address of the server? Uh, www.ijav.com uh, What's my username? JAV What's my What's my pat What's my password? I have to look it up here so as I type in my password it doesn't actually show you the letters and characters it just shows it as uh, asterisks and I go ahead and save it and then you know since we did a new here typed in the information uh, you have to click apply a, a couple of times to actually save it when that grays out then you know you've got it saved okay so then when we click OK it'll go out and connect to this server here okay so here it's connected to the server this side here is the local computer see it says C colon here this side here is the files on the server. I, I, I think it's uh, uh, I rent space from a company. I think they're out in Texas or they're somewhere out in the Midwest. I think they have a few locations out, out there. I, I'm not sure exactly where it's at. <clears throat> so this is the bottom level the bottom level of my of my server it cost me like nine dollars a month to rent this space uh, the main the main spot would be this dub 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 folder here so anything I want viewed on the web I, I would put in this dub 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 folder <clears throat> uh, as an example, let's uh, let's take a file here. I'll create a text file here. My my, my file, and I'll put some text in here. Okay. Save it, and just so it's easier to find, you know, like you can put it on your C your C drive. It's kind of complicated to navigate to your desktop all the time. So, what I do is I create a I create a folder here, and I call it upload. And then I put a drag a shortcut to the desktop there. So then I can just drag my files into there. So let's see how that file went into that folder. Okay. So now this side is my local computer here. So we have to find that upload folder here. So this here is the up arrow go up up now we're at the bottom level of the computer C colon backslash and down here you'll see the upload folder so just click on that it goes into that folder 
here here's that file my file.txt and then I can upload it to my server into the www folder that's what these arrows are, are for this arrow makes the file go that way onto the server okay so this file or this arrow makes this file whatever you have selected on the side go onto the server okay and this one is just the opposite it takes it off the server into your local computer so we'll click this one here okay see that was just a small file so it went up really quick that's up on that's up on the desktop or that's up on the server now 